Hey guys, welcome to the high ground. My name is Fabio and today we're visiting one of Europe Europe's biggest outdoor weapon masses, the IWA in Nuremberg. And let's go and check it out. You can see the IWA as a European version of the SHOT Show. The IWA is really more geared towards the private individual and not so much for LEO or armed forces personnel. However, as you can see here, there are some reputable manufacturers here. So we have Daniel Defense, we have Magpul and a lot of other vendors that really want to bring a spotlight to their product. And the new cases from Magpul were something that I really wanted to try out. And they are pretty cool. Okay guys, so we entered the halls now and it's really awesome. Um, I'm officially here with a Swiss company. Um, I will give you the link below, they have a lot of gear and equipment. And we already checked out the Arctis booth. It's really, really cool, they have a lot of exciting new inventions. Also stuff that is not on the market yet. And I will show you that one right now. One of the things where I often had an issue with Arctis is that until now they really didn't provide a proper layering system. This clearly changed with the puffy Vulcan jacket and the stealth jacket which is basically a hard shell jacket. The jackets we see now are not on the market yet. They are a new line of cold weather protection. And they actually have puffy pants as well. I'm generally very demanding when it comes to this type of gear but the quality of this stuff is really good. Of course guns and gear and tactical clothing are not the only things they have here. They also have a wide variety of cars. And as you can see the builds are pretty cool but they are also somewhat dream builds. I mean if you have an Unimog and you still need a roof tent, you have to tune down your requirements in space. Unfortunately, there hasn't been too much new stuff out, but a few very interesting things came up and this is what I want to share with you now. The first thing I want to show you are Archer and Suppressors, actually a Swiss brand, but I'm unfortunately not paid by them. And they are super easy to attach and they are super lightweight. And they have them for large caliber rifles as well as pistols. I pretty much like them. My next favorite booth was Carinthia. They have uh, currently a line of ponchos that really works with a layering system and that looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'm convinced by the poncho system as it is but um, if I have to have one then I take the one from current here. And yeah as usual a lot of high quality cold weather gear and they might start doing uniforms. Okay so we took a stroll outside, especially to dewater the dogs, and uh, now we're going back in. We already saw one one hall. It's quite nice, and uh, yeah, let's see what else we can see. The next booth we really visited was Glock. I still like this brand, and they had a very cool cutout of a Glock 17. Otherwise a lot of different models and of course the new G47. And very interesting their performance trigger which is actually much better than the factory one. Now those were the highlights and of course there was a lot of other stuff like knives and stuff. Even Steyr was there with the famous Steyr AUG but still I mean even the Heckler & Koch booth, right? They had their complete lineup there, but they all really didn't bring something new to the table. 
the people were fascinated if they have to do with guns a lot. But for us, was it really like, yeah, nice, but only nice. Yeah, and that was already it from the IWA. Only the news, no bullshit. I hope you liked that video. If you did so, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, follow the channel, and I'll see you next time.